Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome again to the fourth uh, part of the Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association uh, webinar series. Uh, while we are waiting for our other participants, uh, please uh, uh, sit back, relax. Uh, in five minutes, we will uh, formally start uh, this uh, topic, Delivering Guidance and Counseling Services in the New Normal.
Good morning once again. Thank you for uh, attending and uh, being with us uh, this morning for our part four of the Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association uh, free webinar series. And uh, before we formally start, I would uh, like to invite you to uh, an exercise. Okay, so uh, in your seats there, uh, I would like to ask you to please uh, sit straight. Uh, please uh, put your feet flat on the ground and uh, let's do some inhaling or breathing exercise. Okay, so we inhale and we exhale. Okay, so please be uh, or please join me in this exercise. So everybody, let's inhale. Slowly exhale. We inhale. Slowly exhale. We inhale. Slowly exhale. At this time, as you inhale and exhale, I would like to invite you to this uh, a period of silence. So just continue the inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, slowly exhale. Inhale, slowly exhale. At this time, I would like to invite you to inhale the goodness of this day. We exhale our worries. We inhale the blessings of our God. We exhale our negative emotions. We inhale the goodness of everyone. We exhale our anxieties, our fears. We breathe in the Spirit of God and we exhale this goodness to be shared to others. So in the silence, we thank our personal God for this wonderful new day and this day is an opportunity for us to serve one another. Okay, so I hope uh, ilang uh, weeks naman tayong hindi nakita. And uh, it's nice to see you back again to this uh, a webinar series. And uh, right now we are about... Uh, we have 2,000, almost 2,000 viewers from our uh, Facebook, uh, from our YouTube uh, uh, channel. And uh, with me also, join, uh, or yes, joining us also uh, are the PGSA officers and of course, uh, yung uh, support po. Uh, nandito din po yung ating uh, uh, members of the professional regulations uh, board or the PRB of the of guidance and counseling. Now, for those na siguro ba, baguhan with uh, this one, uh, since uh, I've seen in our Facebook uh, page, uh, and dami pa nagtatanong, how to join? Uh, and of course, uh, I've seen uh, also other YouTube videos uh, which uh, PGSA was included, uh, and even some websites that uh, uh, the PGSA is offering uh, free webinars. Okay, now, ano po ba yung PGSA? Uh, so, for those who are new uh, with uh, our advocacy and with our uh, social responsibility, so this free webinar series is our commitment 
for all the guidance counselors and of course hindi lang po guidance counselors but other helping professionals to promote mental health and of course the social responsibility uh, the pgca is the accredited integrated professional organizations of the professional regulations commission uh, for guidance and counseling as well as we are one of the accredited cpe or continuing professional education provider so for those who are attending this one, for those who will be able to answer uh, the uh, evaluation and the post-test, you will be sent uh, a certificate and you can use that uh, as one of your CPD points. Now, before the PGCA, or uh, it was formerly known as the Philippine Guidance and Personnel Association. Now, the vision of PGCA is to become the premier prof uh, Philippine professional organization of counselors with international recognition. And uh, of course, our mission, we commit to be in the forefront in the development of counselors who are professional, goal-driven, committed advocates, responsive to the needs of their clientele in the promotion of their well-being to make them proactive contributors in the pursuit of a just and humane society. Now, uh, a, uh, a short history of the PGCA. So in 1964, the late uh, Father Jaime Bulatao and uh, now Archbishop Emeritus of uh, Archdiocese of Cagayan de Oro, Archbishop Antonio Ledesma, both uh, from Ateneo, uh, came up with this uh, idea of a professional organization of uh, guidance uh, workers to Dr. Limcaco of UP. Uh, uh, years before, or I think in 1962, uh, psychologists have also uh, their organization. So uh, counselors followed suit in 1964. And after that, uh, a number of professionals gathered in response to this call. Uh, and most of them, or mostly, uh, they are counselors, uh, educators, and guidance supervisors. Now, uh, in fulfillment uh, of our vision, we have established actually international partnerships and recognition. So in 1981, PGCA became a member of the Western region of the American Counseling Association or ACA. And mind you, we are the only counseling organization in Asia that is given the privilege by the US National Counseling Association. And uh, uh, in 2018, PGSA further forged partnerships with the Australian Counseling Association and, of course, with uh, uh, our ASEAN uh, neighbor, uh, Association of Psychotherapists and Counselors, Singapore. Okay. Now, uh, some of the activities of uh, the PGSA. So we have the, our annual convention, uh, usually happens during May. Uh, however, because of this pandemic, we have to postpone it uh, indefinitely. Uh, our major convention uh, usually happens uh, during uh, or yeah during October, uh, and again it's uh, indefinitely uh, postponed uh, because of the pandemic. But of course, we have uh, continuing professional education programs of uh, and courses, and uh, of course, we have research and publication. Then, as part of our social responsibility. Uh, we have this uh, free webinar series. And of course, we have forged partnerships, not only internationally, but also locally. For example, we have uh, forged partnerships uh, with uh, the National Center for Mental Health, uh, wherein we provide, uh, uh, the PGSA provides free uh, services. We have also partnerships with the Unilab Foundation uh, and uh, other uh, uh, soon, uh, marami pa pong uh, partnerships na uh, we are trying to establish. And of course, as the integrated professional organization, uh, under the uh, umbrella of PGSA are the national counseling organizations. So we have the PACERS, the IPCAP, the, uh, the School Counselor Circle, the IOTA FI, the SIDAP, APECA, and the FCG and AP. And of course, 
uh, hindi din na, hindi rin natin malilimutan yung ating uh, 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 peer organization of the Philippines. These are our peer facilitators. No? Now, uh, ito po, uh, these are the members of the board. No? These are your officers of the Philippine Guidance in Counseling Association. Headed, uh, we're led by uh, Dr. Adelaida Hines as our president. Now, of course, as part of our uh, uh, as part of our responsibility and uh, education, and of course, trying to reach you out. Uh, uh, these are our social media accounts, the PGCA official, uh, official PGCA, and uh, yeah, so YouTube po, we are, we're in, we are live, uh, PGCA Philippine Counselor. Uh, for those who are asking, uh, sir, bakit um, parang hindi uh, nagre-respond yung sa PGCA official? Uh, right now, we are having uh, difficulties with our um, human resource so please bear with us, especially those who have transactions with uh, our secretariat team. Please bear with us. Okay. Now, some, again, friendly reminders. When you have uh, your concerns regarding certificates, please email pgsacertificate at gmail.com. Again, I would like to remind you, uh, for those who are uh, asking, uh, sir, hindi pa kami nakatanggap ng aming uh, certificate, please do directly uh, email the email address that is being uh, flashed right now. Uh, so uh, some are trying to email uh, their concerns at pgsa.socmed. Uh, uh, since I'm... Uh, I have access to that email. I, I will just forward it to uh, the secretariat uh, if you have concerns with your uh, certificates. And of course, uh, our webinar is streamed via YouTube and uh, we, uh, we, ha uh, we share the link sa ating pong, uh, PGSA official page. Okay. Uh, right now, we have uh, about 2,500 uh, uh, participants or viewers sa ating po YouTube channel. Okay, good morning to everyone. Yes, uh, we are very much uh, elated and thankful for uh, this uh, warm uh, responses from, uh, as you have uh, written there in our live chat, okay? So actually the, uh, the title of this uh, webinar uh, was uh, using technology. Uh, but I think the, the purpose of this webinar is uh, how can we deliver guidance and counseling services in the new normal? So uh, my uh, apologies, uh, but I have to change the title of this uh, webinar. So the title of our webinar right now is Delivering Guidance and Counseling Services in the New Normal. Now, uh, I've seen in our Facebook, uh, uh, I, I mean in our YouTube chat, that uh, the participants are, are mixed. Uh, my mga teachers po, there are other helping professionals, uh, and of course the guidance counselors. Now, uh, please bear with me especially po sa ating um, mga counselors, there are some uh, uh, things here that uh, ibabalik ko po sa basic. Kasi uh, we need also to cater other participants. Okay? Now, to start with, I have, uh, I am flashing to you uh, 11 icons. Now, ilang icons na ba? Uh, out of the 11, how many apps uh, para sa inyo at the average uh, alam nyo pong gamitin? Uh, okay. Again, out of the 11 applications I am flashing sa inyo po, uh, ilan po dito ang kaya nyong i-operate uh, 
with minimum assistance. Okay, please type in your your answers. Uh, ilan ba out of eleven sa ating YouTube uh, live chat? Okay, ilan ba yan ang uh, oh wow seven. So again, please uh, type in your answers. Three, seven apps, eight, six, seven, oh, six, four, seven. Oh, five, six. Okay, somehow at the average, we are, uh, mm -hmm, we have nine. Wow, 11. That's good, ma'am. Uh, yeah, I think it's at the average who are um, from our participants, siguro dyan po sa 6 to 7 oh, na applications ang uh, kaya nating gamitin. Wow. Now, this is the challenge for every one of us. This is, uh, uh, ito po yung pina-flash ko uh, this is not the, the totality. Uh, this is, uh, uh, these are the popular applications na ginagamit natin ngayon. So on the, your top left uh, icon, yung pinaka-top left, then we will go to the right. Uh, so we have there the Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams, this is popular especially in our uh, educational system or in educational institutions. Uh, DepEd is using Microsoft Teams. Uh, my investment po ang DepEd. So for DepEd, uh, they're using Microsoft Teams. Of course, Zoom. Uh, right now, there are uh, Zoom is ginagamit uh, popularly uh, in the businesses, even in educational institutions. Uh, even in the uh, House of Representatives, they are using Zoom. Then we have uh, next the parang W that is Facebook Workplace. Uh, so this is uh, the Facebook uh, exclusively for uh, companies or organizations. Uh, then yung, uh, uh, the right topmost, uh, right, yes, rightmost, uh, sa top, the StreamYard. Uh, it's one of our streaming applications. Then, of course, sa, sa middle right, we have uh, the uh, Messenger para, para, uh, parati natin yung ginagamit, of course. Then, yung after ng Messenger, that's the Cisco WebEx. Uh, ang Cisco WebEx naman is parang Zoom din siya. Uh, it's, it's another application. Uh, but usually, uh, ginagamit ito siya ng mga organizations, uh, businesses. Uh, yung popularly na gumagamit ng Cisco WebEx is uh, the Senate uh, of the Philippines. Then of course, ito po yung Google Meet after ng Cisco WebEx. Uh, the, uh, again, uh, we are still waiting for the upgrade of uh, the Google Meet. Uh, uh, it's... Uh, uh, I've experienced using this also in small groups. Uh, then, of course, we have the Skype. Then, some about Facebook Live, YouTube, and of course, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, especially we are uh, dealing with careers. Uh, so, parang Facebook din ang LinkedIn, pero it's not uh, more of uh, the social uh, connection. Rather, it's more of uh, the, the work. Uh, uh, piece, uh, uh, more of the career and uh, the work. Okay, so uh, again, uh, from from this uh, point, uh, at least uh, we we have gauge no. Na actually, um, in delivering guidance and counseling services, uh, there is uh, a challenge uh, for every one of us. Now, during this pandemic. Uh, uh, let's uh, try to look ano po yung situation natin ngayon. Okay. Now, okay. So the government is busy with immediate priority uh, sa health and safety concerns. Okay. So uh, right now, uh, the focus of our government is more of the health and safety. Uh, 
And there is a general disruption of guidance and counseling delivery and activities requiring face-to-face -face contact. So, of course, because of the lockdown, because of um, hindi pa nag-resume yung classes, no? uh, naka-stay at home lang tayo. So, there's a general disruption of the usual uh, guidance and counseling delivery and activities which require physical face-to-face -face contact. So for guidance counselors, guidance counselors have been under pressure to adapt to the sudden change uh, to providing guidance and support at a distance, including using multi-channel digital technologies without contact support and face-to-face -face teaching. Uh, so um, as you have uh, noticed no, right now, uh, even even in our webinars no dati uh, hindi to ginagamit uh, but right now we are using this one uh, there's a sudden change uh, and of course mindsets of practitioners appear to be changing uh, uh, so for example for the past few uh, months uh, there is uh, a transition uh, uh, dati in our delivery or in our, uh, yes, in the delivery of the guidance and counseling services, uh, kailangan talaga face-to-face. -face. But right now, we are looking for uh, other modes of delivery. And uh, for now, to rapidly fit into the new way of working and likewise at uh, organization level, uh, systems were implemented to ensure continuity of service. Then, of course, as I have mentioned earlier, the lockdown appears to have triggered the use of web-based interactive guidance, guidance tools and services. So we have video communication with counselors, YouTube live or webinars with chat function and facilitation. So even in countries where these technologies were not previously common in guidance and counseling delivery. So isa po tayo dyan, yung Philippines, no? Uh, when we have, for example, uh, seminars, uh, so you need to be physically present. Uh, when we have, for example, a convention, so talagang dapat nandun ka sa venue. But right now, uh, either you are in the confines of your uh, homes or you are in your uh, offices, sitting there in front of your uh, laptops or in your computers and uh, Maybe some are doing, uh, or yes, are multitasking, for example, listening to, to this webinar while doing uh, other uh, uh, things that uh, are equally important. So with the lack of face-to-face -face contact support and sudden move to near exclusive use of digital technologies in guidance, the interrelated issues of access and quality came up. This is one of the considerations we have uh, to discuss or we have to consider. Because, uh, uh, of course, for those who can, uh, yeah, may kaya to, uh, to have uh, uh, connectivity. Uh, but how about naman for those who could not afford or uh, may mga limitations when it comes to the access uh, uh, when it comes uh, of technology. And of course, participation in online uh, further training among guidance and counseling practitioners appears to be on the increase during the cri crisis. Yes, uh, definitely. Uh, hindi lang guidance and counseling practitioners, but even uh, our educators, even our um, allied professionals, uh, even our uh, general public, uh, uh, we are uh, trying to participate uh, in online training. Okay. Now, at this time, we have to consider our roles since we're uh, discussing about uh, the delivery of guidance and counseling services during the new normal. So, since uh, we are mainly talking here about guidance counselors, you have to consider your role as a guidance counselor, as a career specialist, and as a mental health professional. 
So for example, one of our issues uh, right now as uh, guidance counselors is uh, the, the profession or even the practice or even the our value is again underrated. No? Uh, there are some institutions that uh, hindi tayo vina value, but there are other uh, organizations then no? uh, na they are valuing counselors. No? And again, it's one of the considerations no? we have to look, uh, especially during this new normal. Now, um, the framework of our discussion this morning would uh, not uh, it be, uh, this one. Uh, we will be using this framework. So, uh, we have the guidance in counseling services. Then we will be we'll be discussing the delivery you know, considerations because there are some services. Uh, ng guidance and counseling that was discussed previously uh, in the previous uh, webinars, uh, which this delivery, ayan, para sa ating mga clients. But ethics, uh, nag over art siya uh, dito po sa ating services delivery and to our clients. So we will be using this um, uh, framework in our discussion for this morning. Very important po ang ethics in the delivery and in a practice of the profession. Now, uh, a little uh, review. So guidance in counseling. So guidance in counseling Again, is a profession that involves the use of an integrated approach to the development of well-functioning individual, primarily by helping him or her to utilize his or her potentials to the fullest and plan his or her future in accordance with his needs, his or her abilities, interests, and needs. Okay, this is uh, section three. Uh, a of RA 9258. Uh, so for those who are uh, going to take their board examinations, uh, supposedly this August, uh, na postpone po siya, you have to, uh, you have to uh, memorize it uh, by heart, uh, the, the definition of the profession of guidance and counseling. For those na new, uh, Guidance counseling po, the, the profession of guidance counseling ay hindi po discipline. Okay? Rather, again, if you can see in the definition, so we use integrated approach so that uh, matulungan, uh, madevelop ang isang tao na maging well-functioning. And uh, we help the person to become a well-functioning individual by utilizing his or her potentials and help uh, uh, in the planning of his or her future. So ganun po yung uh, guidance in counseling. Uh, hindi po panakot or scarecrow yung guidance counselors, especially sa schools. Uh, hindi lang po yung counselors na sa schools po natin because when we talk about careers, plan his or her future in accordance to his or her abilities, interests, and needs, hindi lang po ang career na sa schools, but rather in organizations, uh, in companies, uh, because every one of us uh, merong plan for his or her future. So for those who are thinking or, or perceiving that Guidance counselors are just confided in the educational setting. It's not. Uh, because if you want to, uh, to plan your future, uh, for example, you, you plan to, to get married, okay? Uh, so you, you primarily go to a 
counselor, a licensed counselor, and not to uh, someone na, na uh, well trained in one one day or one week lang. Uh, so again, uh, that's the practice of guidance and counseling. Now, what are the functions of uh, uh, guidance and counseling? So, uh, ito po the counseling, psychological testing. Uh, personality, career, interest, study orientation, mental ability, and aptitude. Very important po yung psychological testing if you go into counseling. Okay, uh, That is why, for example, both counselors and uh, psychologists uh, employ uh, a standardized uh, uh, test materials. No? So how can you go into counseling if you don't uh, if wala kang uh, test, just like for example, you, you go to a, to a doctor without your laboratory result. <laughs> so that would not be counseling. Okay. Of course, uh, another function of uh, guidance counselor is research. Then of course, placement as, uh, and connected with our career guidance. Then group process, teaching and practicing of guidance and counseling services, especially in uh, uh, subjects given in the licensure examination, so including uh, career guidance, program development and uh, management, and of course, other human development services. Okay. Yeah, uh, I have this comment. Bakit nga po naging panakot na po ang guidance sa mga students? Paano po pa mababago ang perception na to? Yes, that is why uh, for those who personally knew me or for those who are following uh, the webinar series, if I am on board, uh, talagang inuulit ko yan. Uh, because it has been uh, deeply rooted you know, in, in our, even in our psyche. Na, uh, since, ano, uh, uh, since na yung... In, in our educational system, uh, they don't understand really the function of guidance and counseling. Yun, uh, they cannot do otherwise but to, to do things na hindi man nila alam. Uh, for example, uh, I, have, I came across with, uh, uh, with some comments uh, in, in Facebook, for example, na, uh, they have one subject daw of guidance and counseling uh, uh, during their uh, uh, during their uh, bachelor's degree. And uh, sad to say that one subject is not effective because when they, yun, pag nandyan na po sila sa educational system, uh, iba po yung nangyayari. And that is why as part of, of my discussion later, uh, it is important to advocate. Uh, kasi uh, we have right now the knowledge na yung guidance and counseling ay hindi po discipline, then we have the responsibility to share that knowledge also uh, sa hindi pa po nakakaalam. Okay? Now, kung ang isang sundalo ay pupunta sa uh, bakbakan, uh, they have their own weapons, they have their own ammunitions. Uh, uh, sa mga guidance counselors naman, their weapon is the guidance program. Okay? Now remember kanina yung role ng counselors. And so as guidance counselors, as career specialists, and as mental health professionals. So therefore, uh, yung talaga pong gagamitin ng ating counselors is the guidance program. The career guidance program and the mental health program. Uh, a guidance counselor, uh, a career specialist could not practice or could not deliver its services without a program. So we have the guidance program. Again, a guidance program is a, syst a system of services designed to improve the adjustment of each and every person for whom it is organized. Uh, then we have the career guidance program, system of services to de uh, design to help an individual come up with a career plan to meet his or her life goals and to implement the plan. 
And of course, we have the mental health program. Uh, ang mental health program naman po is uh, a system of services designed to maintain the state of well-being of an individual in order that she or he may realize his or her pot own abilities and potentials, copes adequately with the normal stresses of life, displays resilience in the face of extreme life events, works productively and fruitfully, and is uh, able to make a positive contribution to the community. Okay? And of course, yung sa ating mga career advocates. Uh, so, uh, for those who are non-licensed, non-RGCs, uh, Career Guidance Advocacy Program. Uh, again, it's Career Guidance Advocacy program. Now, ano po yung mga services ng ating uh, guidance counselors? Uh, uh, based sa ating uh, uh, law, uh, ito po yung mga services ng counselors na pwedeng ibigay. Of course, counseling, psychological testing, career guidance, and placement, uh, research, referral information. Uh, Yun nga, uh, just imagine uh, yung ginawa ni, ginagawa nilang panakot yung mga uh, guidance counselors uh, uh, sa schools. No? Just imagine, isa pa lang function ng guidance counselor is to make researches. No? And hindi, hindi nagagamit or underutilize si guidance counselor. No? Um, if you were able to uh, to be with us or to join us last time with uh, uh, Sir Jet Buen Consejo, uh, uh, our partner and psychologist. Uh, uh, Sir Jet discussed uh, about research and uh, he also uh, well mentioned uh, well it's one of the main functions of a counselor. But I, uh, if you look sa ating uh, nangyayari ngayon, uh, Si, si counselor uh, ay iba po yung ginagawa, especially sa schools. No? Then, of course, another function ni counselor is to refer. No? And of course, uh, we have the information service. Yes, <laughs> another comment. Until now, it is not clear that if you are not a licensed counselor, you cannot do counseling. Yes, marami pa pong nag insist uh, na gusto nila mag-do ng counseling. Uh, but of course, the law provides that uh, counselors, uh, the licensed one can only uh, provide counseling. And, for, and of course, ating mga uh, part, uh, kasama sa helping profession, the psychologists, taro din po sa kanilang law na they can provide counseling and psychotherapy. Now, in uh, services, in the services, no, uh, if you can see there, uh, guidance and counseling services, career guidance, and mental health. Ito po yung mga roles natin na dapat uh, pupunuan. No? So, in guidance and counseling, so we provide counseling, when it comes to career guidance as career specialists, we provide career counseling. And of course, as mental health professionals, we provide counseling. Uh, using the uh, MHPSS intervention pyramid, uh, we uh, will provide uh, specialized and non-specialized supports. Uh, so that's in level three and level four. Now, in psychological testing, sa guidance and counseling, sa career guidance, and even in mental health, we can provide psychological testing. Uh, but uh, we, we are, uh, we, we will be using tests for the purpose of our counseling. Then we have career guidance and placement as uh, part of uh, uh, our services. Then research, it will cover the three uh, roles as counselor, as career specialist, and mental health professionals, of course, in referral. Uh, then when it comes to information, 
uh, pag sinabi natin sa guidance and counseling per se, we have actually information service. Uh, in career guidance, the, the equivalent there is the labor market information. But mind you, yung LMI or the labor, labor market information because of the pandemic, nag-iba po yung kanyang, uh, yung kanyang definition. Okay? And of course, when it comes to mental health, this information service is equivalent to what we call the psychoeducation. So in guidance and counseling, we have program development, in career guidance, career guidance program, and in mental health, we have the mental health program, of course, with the focus on the psychosocial support. Now, when it comes to mental health, again, based on depth and order number 14 series of 2020, uh, for those who are non-DepEd here, uh, what, uh, joining with us, uh, actually, uh, yung definition of MHPSS ay kinuha din po sa Department of Health na um, uh, order. Okay, again, yung DepEd order number 14, uh, yung definition of MHPSS, galing din po ito sa ating Department of Health. So, ano po yung MHPSS or the Mental Health and Psychosocial Support? So, it is used to describe a range of activities. Again, it is a range of activities. Ang MHPSS po, hindi lang, hindi lang po lamang PFA. Okay? Please do not equate MHPSS with PFA alone. Uh, marami tayong dyan na, na, na kakasalamuha. Uh, especially sa ating basic education. Now, when they talk about MHPSS, yung MHPSS, they are equating it to PFA, which is not. Okay? Rather, it's a range of activities that aims to protect or promote psychosocial well-being of individuals and communities in their affected environment and to prevent or treat mental disorder. So, how can you Treat mental disorder by PFA. Okay. Now let's go to our guidance, to our services as a specialist, a career specialist, as a mental health professional, as a guidance counselor. So basically, counseling. Okay. So a guidance counselor could not act or could not. Yeah, parang kulang na kulang. That the essence of a guidance counselor, parang ibayan without the counseling. So counseling, again, please bear with me, licensed professionals. I'm trying to make balance sa ating discussion. Again, so let's go back to let's go back to basics. So counseling is a dynamic, personal interaction between the counselor and the counselees. So in counseling, the counselor employs methods, approaches, and techniques. Okay. And the purpose of the counseling is to enhance the counselee's intra intrapersonal and interpersonal development and competencies. Okay? Now, counseling, uh, if yung, if yung uh, isang uh, taon gumagamit na siya ng methods or approaches or techniques, uh, then uh, one might be already dealing or entering uh, on that aspect of counseling. That is why in the PFA or the Psychological First Aid, uh, yung operation is three L's. Look, listen, and link lang. So talagang nandyan ka lang, tingnan mo, makinig ka, and link. Uh, but if you dig deeper, then you might already be uh, entering uh, into counseling. Uh, and of course, it's an ethical and yeah, unprofessional, and of course, it's a violation of the law. Uh, if you are not a licensed counselor, you, you do counseling. Okay. Now, counseling may be individualized or group, uh, and the counseling service is the heart of the guidance uh, program. And based on uh, implementing rules and regulations of RA 9258, Quote, end quote, counseling is considered synonymous to and interchangeable with guidance and counseling. So please take note na baka nagsasabi ka lang, okay, mag-counseling tayo. Again, 
napakaklaro po ng law of RA 92258 at yan uh, pinaklear pa din pinaklaro pa ng implementing rules and regulations uh, na counseling is considered synonymous to and interchangeable with guidance and counseling okay so please uh, take note uh, when you use the word counseling kasi uh, we have encountered uh, even some professionals they are claiming that they can do counseling so basically just refer to RA 9258 unless you have another law that would uh, repeal yung law of guidance counselors. That is why even yung ating mga kasamang uh, psychologists in, they are, in their IRR, napakaklaro din po uh, with due respect to the law of guidance counselors. They have uh, clearly defined na yung ginagawa nila is psychological counseling. Uh, that is in respect to the law of counselors because uh, the counselors are using already counseling okay now another thing the practice of counseling of counseling counseling depends on gaining and honoring the trust of their clients so basically very important uh, na you are trustworthy okay uh, and of course uh, very important uh, to consider a uh, few days ago, or I think yesterday, we have uh, uh, nagpalabas po kami ng notice and reminders to the public regarding the practice of guidance and counseling and the delivery of uh, uh, whether it's tele, web, or online, or face-to-face, -face, the services. Please take note uh, to our general public, be an educated uh, and critical consumer, okay? Because uh, it will help uh, protect you. So uh, we need to keep trust. Now, very important then to consider for those who are new uh, or joining us, uh, ang counseling process po, uh, based sa kay Cormier and Hackney, uh, ito po. Uh, so uh, number six is research and evaluation. This is uh, already kung baga, uh, built in na po sa ating counselors based sa ating law. So ayan, the counseling process, there's a relationship building. We assess, but we could not diagnose. Diag the diagnosis part, we give it to our uh, psychologists and uh, psychiatrists. Then of course, formulation counseling goals. Yung tao, yung client pumupunta sa atin uh, into counseling. So we help them. A ano po yung goal natin uh, after three or four or five sessions? Okay. Then uh, methods, uh, approaches, and techniques dito papasok during the intervention and problem solving. And of course, uh, counseling is not forever. So we have to terminate. Especially if yung either yung client natin na achieve na yung goals niya. Number two, there are some factors that, uh, for example, as a counselor, hindi mo na ma, you are not uh, capable. Uh, then you must refer it to another professional, or well, the, the client is uh, yeah nasira na yung trust. For example, then uh, there's a need to 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 refer again, and of course, if there's a need also for follow up after nag end na po yung counseling sessions. Okay, now as I have mentioned, uh, I have been uh, uh, mentioning earlier the psychological first aid for non counselors, for non professionals. Uh, we can do this loop, listen, and link because the difference between psychological first aid and counseling is in counseling, we already uh, use techniques just like CBT, uh, solution focus, reality therapy, etc. Okay. Uh, now I've got this from a uh, uh, website from uh, uh, UK. So difference between advice, guidance, and counseling. So 
when we give advice, it's only a one-way process because we give an opinion and we make judgment. And in guidance, uh, yeah, we encourage it's a one-way exchange. However, in counseling, you both explore problems. Okay. Now, ano po yung challenges natin dito? So, of course, the face-to-face -face versus the virtual, the knowledge of applications, the connectivity, and the ICT equipment. When it comes to tele or web counseling, uh, uh, Dr. Julian Montano uh, may have exhaustively uh, discussed this one. So, uh, pasadahan ko lang po uh, ang ating uh, counseling. But again, you can watch his uh, discussion on tele and web counseling sa ating pong uh, YouTube channel. You can search po the discussion of uh, Doc Julian there. Uh, ang lahat po na webinars po natin sa PGCA, you can always watch it again. Okay? So in counseling right now, uh, the challenge is, of course, face-to-face -face versus virtual. Uh, the knowledge of applications and, of course, the connectivity and the ICT equipment. Uh, uh, for example, yes, uh, you have... You may have the best ICT equipment right now, but what if wala ka namang connectivity or you have connectivity but wala kang ICT equipment, okay? Or uh, ano po yung mga different applications na pwede natin gamitin? For our counselors, uh, ito po yung, uh, we have to put this uh, in mind. Uh, so we need to be knowledgeable of the applications. We have to be knowledgeable also with uh, ang connectivity natin and of course the ICT equipment. Uh, I am sharing, for example, sa, sa amin. Uh, my, my plan or our plan here sa bahay ng uh, internet is, uh, I, I think it's parang 5, 5 Mbps, I, I, I guess. Uh, pero yung... Uh, ang maibibigay lang sa amin ng uh, service provider is maximum of two because of the area. Kasi we are in, in the uh, we are in the urban setting. So th that's a consideration. Uh, there are times na yung internet connection namin dito uh, unstable. Another thing, uh, ICT equipment. We, we need to ask ang ating mga uh, more knowledgeable when it comes to ICT. Kamusta yung laptop mo? Uh, uh, at par pa ba siya sa ngayon? For example, you have only 2 gig na, na memory. Or uh, ano yan ang kanyang processor. Uh, uh, ang daming uh, considerations. Um, very important is we need to really learn, we need to really uh, uh, transition by learning new things. Okay, now, again, so how to deliver your counseling room is being replaced by a frame of a computer screen. The following slides, uh, these are the slides of uh, Doc uh, Julian Montano during uh, his webinar last time. Okay, so very important na since nag-shift tayo ng delivery dati, uh, it's it's face to face. Ngayon, uh, right now, for example, I'm I'm delivering this discussion. Dati, uh, I'm I'm looking to 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 many uh, participants. Makikita ko kayo. Okay. But right now, ano lang uh, screen ng aking laptop. Uh, so when we do counseling, for example. Okay, uh, there. Um, siguro I have some uh, difficulty. Uh, may I beg the indulgence of our uh, participants? I will uh, turn off my video so that uh, uh, yung yung ma ease up yung bandwidth ng aking signal. Okay. Now, uh, going back. Uh, in 
So your counseling room is being replaced by a frame of a computer screen. So present a look as similar to their face-to-face -face experience as possible. Huh? So where you will work has to be as private as it would be a face-to-face -face encounter. So when you do counseling, for example, um, uh, private, since uh, we adhere to uh, the strictest uh, confidential, uh, confidentiality. So when we do counseling via online, it should be confidential. Uh, it should be private as possible. You know? uh, strict adherence to confidentiality. You know? So since bago yung ating uh, mode of delivery, we have also to be... Uh, uh, yeah. uh, when it comes to data privacy. Ah, yan na. Nag, uh, <laughs> right now, I'm having uh, trouble with my uh, uh, internet connection. Please bear with me. Okay. So, uh, going back. Uh, so, we need also to consider, in a, for example, if you have if you have recorded it or if you have making uh, uh, data, then you have to protect it. Uh, our previous uh, this webinar discussions uh, I've already discussed that, but I think there should be one uh, discussion for data privacy, uh, maybe soon. Okay, and of course ensure others are aware of the change and to give you. The space you need. For example, uh, dati sa counseling room, di ba, uh, we, may, may ano tayo, may notice sa labas ng counseling room. Uh, counseling session ongoing. So, for example, when we are now shifting, nag-shift na tayo sa, sa tele, web, or online counseling, then uh, in a room, uh, just like before, uh, doing in our counseling room, then there should be a notice that a counseling session is ongoing. Now, uh, we must also be aware to attend to both practical emo and emotional or relational aspects that may be affected by change. So again, uh, this is unprecedented, but we need uh, to look on these things. So, Ang ating po mga clients, do they have device they can use? Again, as I mentioned as the uh, as earlier part ng ating discussion, there is an issue on uh, the quality and the and the access. No? So, may device po ba na magagamit yung ating uh, uh, clients uh, if they can reach out for our services? Okay, are they familiar with video calls? How comfortable are they with seeing and being seen on video? No? Dati, at, uh, sa kasagsagan ng, ng, ng uh, pandemic, no? uh, it's, it's, it's very weird to discuss, for example, uh, in, a, in a webinar. No? Uncomfortable ako, pero eventually, uh, it changed. No? Uh, I was able to adapt. No? Pero, well, with our with our participants or with our clients, for example, gaano po sila comfortable? So we need to consider that also. Do they have private environment from which to talk to you? For example, uh, in the lockdown, let's give an example sa ating uh, public uh, learners, public school learners. If, again, if we will be giving... Uh, uh, psychological first aid via phone. Okay. Psychological first aid via phone. That is why yung PFA, especially sa elementary kids, uh, we have tried to to push na it should be uh, walang PFA, especially sa elementary learners. Rather, play. Because, again, from the developmental aspect, yung mga elementary learners, dapat play no, yung uh, focus nila. No. So, uh, one consideration when it comes to uh, P, uh, PFA na, na, na tele or via phone, no, do they have the private environment from which to talk to you? No. 
So that's a big consideration. Do they have a good, stable internet connection that is unlikely to fail part way through the session? Just like, for example, we are discussing in a webinar, and uh, I, I am uh, experiencing unstable internet connection. <laughs> or uh, from your end, po. Uh, ano po ang 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 Ano po yung, I mean, from, from your end, ano po yung nangyayari? Do, do you have a stable internet connection? Work in general for yourself. Yeah. As uh, uh, suggested by Doc Julian, practice, practice, practice. Okay. Uh, I have seen, yes, okay. My apologies po, nawawala yung sig ang sounds uh, it's either two things from my end because of my unstable internet connection or it, it is from your end in po okay so my apologies uh, there is a question here uh, ano po ang pwedeng gawin lalo na ngayon na may pandemic kung appointed na guidance counselor sa school ay di naman license. Okay. That is why we are keep on repeating our suggestion no? especially po sa Department of Education that they have to position the guidance counselors in the division offices which until now two weeks from now we will be opening the classes, but there are no movements until now. Okay? So remember, hindi lang po learning yung ating tinitingnan dito. If a learner, if a child, if a student is... Uh, hindi, hindi siya yung atmosphere... Uh, to learning, hindi conducive, for example. Hindi siya prepared psychologically, emotionally, mentally. Then, we will be having difficulty when it comes to learning. Okay? That is why, again, as part of our advocacy is that we are trying to raise the awareness uh, uh, to, to our educators. Na dapat, we have also to consider the mental health uh, conditions. Uh, the mental health aspect ng ating learners and, of course, our educators. Uh, thank you for that uh, question, ma'am. Okay. So, in doing online counseling or tele or web, you do not want to leave your client in a situation where they are suddenly left alone or in a heightened or vulnerable emotional state. This is very important. Especially those na gusto, gusto talagang tumulong. Again, this is the difference between a licensed professional and a licensed professional. No? Sa amin nga, sa mga licensed counselors, we are very, very um, sensitive and kumbaga, we are very careful no? that when we open no, an emotional state, we have to process it. We have to close it. No. Yung nangyayari sa baba, for example, uh, gusto, so, gusto talagang tumulong. And hindi, niya naman, hindi naman siya trained yan. No. Then ayan, nagka-counseling daw. No. Inopen lang, pero hindi nasirado or hindi na-close. And that would lead to more psychological uh, wound. Again, uh, for counselors, for example, uh, we don't want to leave our clients in a situation na ito. For example, nag-open up siya, brand out. Na putol yung internet connection. Again, these are some considerations. Ensure the interruption and its effects are kept to a minimum. So very important. Again, the knowledge of the application, the knowledge, uh, the, the, the connectivity, and the ICT equipment. Then important that we have uh, that you have a clear, easy to follow protocol on each of you will do on these circumstances. So very important. 
learn and practice. Learn and practice. And of course, it is also important to ensure that you are working with adequate supervision. Right now, since uh, hindi pa po naka, naka institutionalize yung ating uh, counselor supervisors, uh, very important that uh, there is a counselor na uh, you can reach out. No? Uh, you ask for help or someone who could mentor you, especially in your practice of uh, or and in the delivery of guidance and counseling services. Okay. Now, another uh, uh, service is the psychological testing. Okay. Uh, when we talk about psychological testing as a service, so is the administration and interpretation of standardized tests in order to understand the counselee or client and their behavior. Again, just imagine someone is uh, someone is claiming to do counselling, but could not even do uh, psychological testing. Uh, so very important again. Uh, yung analogy ba na yung doktor, tinignan ka lang, nagbigay na ng reseta without even looking on as an, as an analogy. Uh, it's like your, your laboratory results. Then you go to the doctor. Uh, uh, so you have your uh, psychological test results. Then you go into counseling because uh, the results there uh, uh, will be taken in consideration when you go further in your counseling. And of course, the psychological tests identifies not just weaknesses of a person, but also their strengths and measures an individual's performance at a specific time, just like your laboratory results. Uh, so yung psychological tests is only for a specific period of time, okay? So, hindi po siya, uh, magiging invalid na po siya if, for example, five years or three years. So, very important na uh, you have to consider that one, okay? So, yung tests na pwedeng uh, gawin or i-deliver or i-administer ng ating mga counselors are, uh, includes the following types, personality, career interests, Interest, mental ability, aptitude, achievement, learning, and study orientation. Uh, I think uh, we need also to have from our NCPGCA, uh, we need someone to discuss this one uh, specifically on psychological testing because malaki po yung area na ito when it comes, uh, especially, I mean, during this new normal. Now, ano po yung challenges natin when it comes to uh, uh, psychological testing? Of course, the, the test selection, the test administration, and the test interpretation. Again, the, again these, are, these are the usual challenges natin. Uh, again, considerations. Now, uh, are there available online tests or tests? Uh, if we shift into uh, online, okay, how much? <laughs> <laughs> if online siya, do we have uh, equipment, uh, ICT equipment? Do we have, um, for example, kung software siya? Uh, well, you, you need connectivity, definitely. Even you have a software there, uh, definitely you will be needing uh, uh, connectivity. And of course, do we have the financial capacity to invest to these online tests? Again, these are considerations. However, based po sa ating uh, based po sa ating based po sa sa American Psychological Association. Okay. Uh, well, when it comes to uh, to testing and assessment, okay. So there, our current situation, there is uh, this appropriately burdened 
by the physical, a current physical distancing, limited contact and stay at home constraints. So very challenging. Again, this is unprecedented. And when it comes to testing, historically it relied on tasks and interpersonal procedures that require in-person interaction. So when we provide psychological tests, of course, your voice, how you deliver the, the, the instruction, of course, uh, yeah, uh, kung may mga specific instruction, dapat makita mo yung how the person answers it, okay? So, such as manipulation of physical materials, standardized interactions between assessor and client, and for example, for uh, clinical observation of a person in a physical environment. So, very important, okay, when it comes to testing and assessment. Uh, because of the current situation, the uh, American Psychological Association, uh, nagpalabas po sila ng guidance on psychological teleassessment during COVID-19 uh, crisis. So these are the six principles po na, uh, nag, uh, as a guide. Uh, so do not jeopardize test security. Uh, as much as possible, uh, for example, kasi historically, again, uh, dapat face-to-face -face interaction. No? Pero, uh, again, pag, mag, uh, pag gumanda na yung situation po natin, then baka kahit limited lang. Okay? So, again, we do not jeopardize test security. Very important. And do the best you can with what is available to you. Uh, again, mindfully and ethically. Very important. So, uh, what is there? Pwede natin gamitin and together with some observations, for example. Uh, just, we can use what we have there, but again, mindfully and ethically. Be rigorously mindful of data quality. Uh, very important. Uh, widen the confidence intervals when making conclusions and clinical decisions. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. When, uh, again, hindi lang po tayo nagbe-base sa isang test. Uh, but rather, it should be battery of tests. Okay, and of course, hindi lang sa tests, but of course, with, with other factors. Think critically about the test and sub-test substitutions if, we, if you want to substitute. And of course, maintain the same ethical standards of care as in traditional psychological assessment services. Okay. Again, since we're dealing with unprecedented uh, uh, and uh, uh, again, we need to maintain uh, the ethics. Now, uh, as a reminder, the American Psychological Association, uh, Association reminded, uh, reminding the uh, the, pra the practitioners that principles are an effort to offer help to those providing psychological assessment service under physical distancing constraints. Again, these are only help and guide. And they are not meant to supplant typical practices and guidelines under normal circumstances. And uh, that is when it becomes safe and feasible to resume in-person services, these recommendations should not override typical and standardized practice. Okay, so uh, very important for those practitioners. <laughs> I, I have seen a comment here, uh, doctor na walang consultation na may reseta agad. Meron kami dyan dito. Again, when it comes to practice of profession, when it comes to ethics, uh, professionals are expected uh, to practice professionally and ethically. That's the reason po na we have licenses. Uh, because the licenses means accountability and responsibility. Okay? Very... <laughs> Uh, that's a good comment. Okay. And remember, for practitioners, they're not meant to allow for at least uh, some continuity of the care and needed services provided during this unprecedented time. Okay. Let's proceed with care and with caution. 
that, in short, that's it. Okay? Now, when it comes to research, uh, more uh, last uh, webinar that was discussed uh, thoroughly by Sir Jet. Uh, research during the new normal. Uh, that was the discussion of uh, Jet Buenconsejo, uh, a psychologist and a psychometrician. So you can watch that sa ating uh, YouTube channel. Uh, nandun din po. Uh, but again, some considerations. Uh, uh, but before that, again, ang research service is to unearth the needs of the institutional community, establish the need for improvement, validate new strategies, techniques, and interventions, and discover different alternatives for attaining goals. So we do research also in our counseling service, but when it comes to mental health, very important. Uh, again, the needs of the institutional community. If you are in school, so sana for those educational leaders na nandito po sa ating webinar, uh, hindi po natin gawing uh, discipline officer or taga-settle ng, ng suntukan yung counselors natin or gawin natin uh, registrar. No? Rather, let's utilize them to do research. Just like our master teachers. No? So if ang ating master teachers uh, are doing research, action research po sa ating uh, classroom, no? then the, the guidance counselor can uh, can do research uh, sa needs po ng ating institutional community, maybe in 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 human resource or even uh, sa ating uh, services, etc. Okay, so we utilize uh, uh, properly our kind our counselors. Of course, again, the challenges po when it comes to research is the data privacy. Don't get what you can protect. Yung <laughs> sabi ni ni Sir Jet last night. Uh, and of course, when it comes to data collection, yes. Uh, so, uh, pag hindi kailangan, don't get it. Kailangan pa talaga na uh, may ano siya, age or tagal saan siya. Uh, so, as much as possible, if you can uh, protect it, don't collect it. And of course, ethics. Um, um, you can watch uh, yung... Uh, in detail, the discussion of uh, Sir Jet and Consejo sa ating pong PGSA YouTube channel. And of course, referral. This is another system, a uh, built-in system sa ating mga counselors. And for those uh, for those who are uh, uh, having their referral, okay, I, I've seen this uh, question. Yes, uh, Please include clarification on what non-license or versus license psychometrician parameters in psych testing. Uh, as I have mentioned, um, right now I'm just giving the uh, some sort of overview. Uh, but uh, please, uh, uh, from our end, uh, we will try to uh, have a discussion when it comes to testing, uh, especially for us, uh, counselors and other or allied helping professionals. Uh, we need to have a separate discussion on this. Medyo mahaba yung discussion when it comes to testing. Thank you for that uh, uh, comment, uh, uh, sir. Okay. Now, when it comes to referral, uh, again, the built-in uh, service uh, uh, sa ating mga counselors. So it is a service for the provision of tapping of agencies, organizations, or individuals that may be bet of better assistance in the counseling's resolution of problems and attainment of goal. Klaro po sa amin na hindi po namin kaya lahat. Klaro po sa counselors, hindi po lahat maibigay ng counselor. We have our limitations also. That's where um, that's where referral comes in. So to whom do we refer to? And of course, uh, establishing linkages and partnerships. Very important, especially sa, sa case namin dito sa, sa Region 6, we are working hand in hand with uh, psychologists, with psychiatrists, with counselors, um, uh, of course with the DOH uh, 
two weeks ago, uh, nagpatawag po sa amin, for example, yung DOH Region 6, they, are, they have um, tinipon po yung mga uh, service uh, providers when it comes to mental health. So very important that we have this kind of linkages and partnerships with our allied professionals. This is uh, an example. Uh, I've used this uh, in one of my discussions uh, before. Uh, compar comparison of specialized uh, mental health professionals uh, from the per perspective of mental health. Uh, sa ating uh, intervention pyramid, that is why level four. Now, si counselor, ang kanyang strength is, of course, career guidance, uh, program development, uh, ang common kay counselor and psychologist is, of course, the counseling. Okay? Uh, if you could see the counselor, the psychologist, and the psychiatrist, yung minimum academic uh, preparation nila uh, ay magka-level po. Uh, this is master's degree. Uh, so, anong common naman kay psychologist and kay psychiatrist? Diagnosis. Okay? So, psychologists can do diagnosis and psychotherapy, then psychiatrists provides uh, prescription medicine, okay? So, uh, both case psychologists and psychiatrists, what is common sa kanila is diagnosis. So, very important po, uh, when it comes to referral, is our knowledge. Uh, kung kanino po natin i-refer. For example, if we have a client that there is an abuse, example, sexual abuse, then you have to refer that to our Women's Children and uh, WCPD, uh, Women's Children and Protection Department, or sa ating mga social workers. Sila po yung uh, sa kanila pong area of practice, uh, yung mga ganong uh, pangyayari. So as counselor, uh, that's where you need to refer uh, to our uh, to other professionals. Okay. Okay, next, we have the information service. Uh, kanina, uh, sa first part ng ating uh, discussion, ang information service as part of the guidance and counseling, uh, pagdating po yan sa career guidance, dyan po papasok yung labor market information natin. And uh, when it comes to mental health na aspect, this information service is what we call now the psychoeducation. Because the information service... Uh, provides the comprehensive and systematic collection and dissemination of information outside the individual through various methods of programs to assist students in their personal, educational, and occupational planning. Uh, so when it comes to mental health, more of the adjustment work uh, can work productively or fruitfully, can cope adequately uh, to the normal stresses of life. Ganun po yung the information na pwedeng maibigay. Uh, there is a, a, a comment here. 20 year old guidance counselor provide worse advice to students. Uh -huh. uh, please take note that uh, if the counselor is a licensed professional, uh, for example, we try to refrain actually ourselves to give advices because again, Ang advice po, it's a one-way process. That is why we don't give advices. Either it's guidance or counseling. We can give uh, as much a suggestion but not ad advice because yung advice po is uh, perceived as ano siya, um, you're trying to, to, uh, to put pressure or you're imposing, I mean, uh, to uh, the client. So, hindi po ganon yung guidance and counseling. Uh, please take note, baka hindi po yan license. That is why we're trying to correct through this uh, information. Okay? Okay. Now, of course, career guidance. Uh, now, in career guidance, uh, this is one 
another topic din na siguro would be needing another webinar no? aside from the psychological testing. Okay. In career guidance, uh, when we say career guidance, it's a process of helping an individual come up with a personal career plan by collecting, collating, and evaluating various information about the self and the world of work to help the client meet his or her life goals and to take the necessary steps to implement the plan. Okay, that's career guidance. Uh, pero idagdag ko lang dito yung ating placement uh, kasi yung placement is similar to career guidance. However, this is appropriate po sa ating higher education institutions. Okay. So yung service na to, yung placement, so clientele's movement to the appropriate educational or occupational level of program, entry into appropriate co-curricular and extracurricular activities and pursuit of further education or other employment upon leaving the institution. Uh, uh, there are some movements right now when it comes to our career guidance, uh, but of course, the... Uh, since uh, the pandemic, medyo hindi, hindi pa gaano uh, yung directions natin uh, as, uh, as per information, yung Department of Labor and Employment together with uh, the cluster, uh, cluster uh, members uh, sa career guidance, uh, nag-meeting po sila kahapon. But again, this is, uh, uh, yung kahapon is, is only a uh, a preliminary uh, but we need also to to consider uh, uh, some things in uh, the delivery of career guidance uh, so with the pandemic actually the importance of lifelong guidance is clearer than ever for younger students and for adults of all ages uh, this is based uh, on a research uh, ng uh, uh, isang European institution. Uh, uh, what is uh, alarming in the Philippines right now is because we are too focusing on the health and safety, we tend to forget the, the career guidance aspect. Saan tayo patutungo? Uh, kumbaga, uh, we are so uh, focused on uh, uh, sa sa sitwasyon natin but we we failed to zoom out no? na para makita natin yung yung birds eye view no? and that is why last time when i attended a senate uh, committee hearing yun yung yun po yung nire-raise ko yes we might be discussing about mental health of our learners no? pero of course I just uh, Nating nanyo lang po anong nangyayari sa ating uh, mental health. Uh, two weeks from now, we will be opening po ng klase. Uh, opening po ng, ng klases, pero hindi pa po klaro ano mangyayari sa first week of classes. Uh, as I have discussed in, in, in the Senate, uh, very important na we need also to consider the, the career aspect of our learners. Uh, and uh, sana po, naging klaro po na yung career guidance, saan tayo patutungo? Uh, makita din po sana yon. Guidance can support employment transitions with predicted shifts in the labor market and with extremely increases in unemployment, upskilling, and reskilling needs. Talagang malaki po yung uh, role, ang gagampanan ng career guidance with this pandemic. Pero again, as uh, as what is happening right now, hindi pa po talagang nakikita. But soon, because you are knowledgeable, then you can help us in this advocacy. Uh, according to the World Health Organization, sa kanilang mental health na na uh, na considerations no uh, yung yung fear uh, yung yung uh, socio ecological model no, ng pandemic is of course the the fear of 
being unemployed or uh, yan, wala ka ng trabaho. And that's where career guidance sana should come in. I, I hope some of our leaders or our leaders would realize this one. So at this time, particular attention is paid to reaching out to vulnerable groups, young people, students, and adults at risk of further social exclusion to empower them. Uh, if you can notice uh, with this pandemic, dati, we have online selling. No? But right now, there is an increase of, of incidents or, or ayan, happening of online selling. Di ba? Uh, uh, may barter pa nga eh. So talagang uh, nag-a-adjust tayo. But of course, we need uh, to, to look from, from uh, other lenses. No? So some experts have noted that there will be renewed emphasis on career management skills as well as other skills and the fostering of key individual qualities such as resilience and adaptability. No? Yung iba nga, for example, some are calling for academic freeze. Uh, well, uh, siguro we need to consider that uh, in this pandemic, uh, there should be emphasis on, on skills, uh, on your life skills, on your career skills, uh, resilience and ad adaptability. Uh, very important, we have to go back to basics. Uh, siguro that's, that's uh, yun po yung challenge sa atin. We go back to basics. And of course, there are indications that the extent of ICT infrastructure and level of lifelong guidance system developed have a strong influence on how and if guidance services and careers learning have to be delivered and the nature of their services during the crisis period. These aspects also appear to be shaping the development of further policies and plans and other steering tools. That is why right now, uh, internet is life talaga. <laughs> Uh, dati, uh, it's okay to have internet, pero talaga ngayon, it's, it's a must. Uh, talagang, uh, especially, especially uh, personally, I have experienced that dito sa bahay, kasi I'm, work, uh, I'm working from home, talagang, my God, pag, pag nawala yung internet, pag, uh, pag may glitch, or talagang uh, naglulok ko yung, yung internet connection ko, talagang, yan, with all the things na may ginagawa sa school, may ginagawa ka dito, and ganyan, then, ayan, naputol pa, or stable pong internet mo talagang, ayan, uh, it's, it's uh, a stressful situation. Okay? So, when it comes to, to the delivery of guidance services, please take note, the ICT infrastructure, the connectivity, your ICT uh, uh, equipment will really matter. And, of course, uh, there is some indication of an int intensification of stakeholder collaboration, cooperation among professionals with the private, public, and community actors, no? such as health workers and suppliers of digital services and statistics. Very important. We need to uh, really uh, upskill ourselves no? and uh, to establish linkages with our, not only with our uh, healthcare workers, but also uh, those in the ICT area. Uh, sa suppliers natin for those ICT experts also. So, may mga differences when it comes to education and training, uh, uh, especially sa protocol. So, iba yung uh, uh, they are uh, from different perspectives, but I hope uh, there should be a balance. Okay? So, Guidance experts describe as a great leap to online learning and guidance delivery, technical technologies, and the role of ICT in lifelong guidance are a common focus or concern. Okay, so very important as career specialists, some themes uh, include, especially in our career guidance, uh, we must look into the present and future modes of delivery. Uh, ano po yung mga barriers in accessing online support and multi-channel delivery? Uh, yan. Teaching and careers, learning or guidance education in school-based programs. And of course, yung ating LMI, hindi lang siya labor market information, rather 
labor market intelligence na. Uh, again, hindi lang labor market information, rather labor market intelligence. And of course, there is a need for widespread and universal upskilling and training. As I mentioned a while ago, kanina talaga, as guidance practitioners, at hindi lang guidance and counseling practitioners, even educators, the general public, there is a need for a widespread and universal upskilling and training. Of course, we have we need to have outreach measures just like this one. Um, we're trying to to educate, uh, to to upskill at least uh, yung ating general public, the guidance practitioners and uh, educators and the other uh, allied professionals. And of course, information and guidance related to use of te digital technology very important and uh, because it it is touching our ethics, the IT security and personal data and ethical themes. Right now, dapat itingin po natin yung ating uh, data privacy, especially with this pandemic. That is why, oh, I have only uh, 10 minutes. Sige. Uh, Sir Dan, may I request that uh, siguro yung ating mga uh, participants after this, uh, baka mag-offer shoot tayo ng time, baka mag- uh, lunch sila, may I request sa ating uh, uh, secretariat, can we have the post-evaluation by 1 p.m.? Uh, please just give me a beep uh, if it is okay with you. Okay? Uh, at this time, I would like to discuss yung interim guidelines on the conduct and delivery of guidance and counseling and mental health services during the COVID-19 crisis. Again, you can search it po sa ating Facebook page na ipalabas na po natin ito last April, the interim guidelines on the conduct and delivery of guidance and counseling. Okay, thank you very much, Sir Dan and the Secretariat for granting the request na 1 p.m. po tayo magpo-post test. Thank you so much, Sir Dan. Okay, so one hour po tayo, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Wow, thank you so much, Sir Dan. Okay, so uh, to our dear participants, let's also thank uh, uh, our uh, secretariat for that. Okay, so uh, the PGCA, uh, because uh, we are now uh, shifting to new normal, uh, we will be, after this, siguro interim guidelines muna, then we can uh, adjust it to, uh, well, proper guidelines na uh, in the conduct and delivery uh, in the new normal. So maybe soon we can have uh, guidelines talaga. Now, uh, the first uh, guideline is all registered guidance counselors or RGC who hold a valid PRC license. When we say uh, valid PRC license, hindi po expired and have the competence or training to do counseling, for example, brief crisis, et cetera. Remote psychological first aid, and or psychosocial support through online platform are encouraged to share their professional knowledge and practice. Um, we, uh, from the side of the PGSA National, we are, okay. from the side of the PGSA National, we are very happy to see ang ating mga local chapters of PGSA who are holding uh, webinars uh, and sharing their professional knowledge and practice. Uh, uh, nakikita ko po from from the uh, uh, from the Facebook yung ating uh, PGSA sa Inogka, sa ating uh, Bacol, uh, Negros Occidental na ch in a local chapter, PGSA sa Tarlac, PG sa Batangas, uh, I think PG sa Pampanga uh, and uh, other uh, uh, PG sa local chapters. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your efforts. Uh, uh, in sharing your professional knowledge and practice, okay? And of course, there are other uh, individual uh, counselors that are, uh, they are sharing also their professional practice and uh, knowledge. Then when we, when we talk about competence, very important. <laughs> of course, you could not discuss, you could not give what you do not have. So competence is maintained, uh, through continuing professional development for at least 
three years and includes being able to recognize when it, it is appropriate to refer the service user or the client based on their needs to concerned professionals. So you are competent uh, from, from our current guidelines. So you need to have a continuing professional development. So you are, you are attending training, you are attending uh, workshops, you are upskilling yourself for at least three years and uh, you are able to recognize na dapat yung client mo or your service user needs to be referred to other professionals. So uh, very important for po as counselors. Again, as a reminder, hindi po natin kaya yung lahat. Okay? When it is appropriate to do so, we need to refer our clients or service user to concerned professionals. Number two, counselors dispense their services through online plat plat platform aligned with the PGCA and TRB of Guidance and Counseling Code of Ethical Practice of the Counseling Practice. Uh, so very important again that as counselors, yung services po natin even though nasa online, tele, or web is aligned uh, sa ating ethical standards. Very strict po yung ating ethical standards. Dual relationships, uh, competence, training, uh, privacy, uh, etc. Uh, para po sa ating mga uh, viewers, uh, sa ating webinar participants, uh, uh, ito po, gaano po ka-stringent uh, yung when it comes to ethical considerations, yung practice of guidance and counseling. That is why, uh, <laughs> nakakatawa po. <laughs> I mean, it's more than siguro, parang it's a mix of emotion na gawin mo lang yung counselor mo as a, as a, as a discipline officer with all these uh, ethical standards na the counselor should uphold. No? So counselors avoid dual relationships such as personal, familial, familial, social, and or business relationships with service users or clients that may jeopardize the integrity of professional relationships or relationship. Please take note when we talk about dual relationships. You cannot do counseling with your son, with your spouse, with your immediate relative or Again, a very a close friend, a best friend. Again, you should avoid that because it will jeopardize the integrity of your professional relationship. Oh, very important. So that is why, for example, uh, talagang challenge po sa amin na counselors because, example, ako, it is a very, a, a, this is very challenging for me kasi yung uh, ako guidance counselor, pero nasa teaching position ako dahil again walang career path ironically, ironically I, though uh, the counselor is a career specialist pero wala siyang career sa DepEd no? so uh, nagtransfer ako sa 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 teaching kasi at least you, you have a career ladder there but uh, this is a, a challenging situation to, uh, for me for example because how can I provide counseling, for example, to my uh, to my student? Because I'm a strict teacher. <laughs> so that would jeopardize the integrity of my professional relationship. So, ayan, teacher mo, counselor mo. I mean, uh, ta talagang ano yan, talagang uh, there, there, there's a jeopardy in there. So, very important that counselors should avoid dual relationships. And Counselors should not attempt any sexualized behavior with their counselees or service users. Again, very important. As counselors, we, we do not use our position, our moral authority, our moral high ground to our counselees to exploit them. Uh, a few days ago, I, I've seen uh, a post there sa ating uh, kapwa na, na allied profession ay sa ating uh, allied professionals sa PAP uh, they're also trying to to uh, heighten aware heighten the awareness of the general public uh, sa mga professionals uh, from from their end no? so from the side of PGC again 
sa ating pong uh, participants. Counselors should not attempt, shall not attempt. Again, this is a strong word, shall not attempt any sexualized behavior with the service users. If there are uh, incidents of this, please report it to the PRC or uh, even po sa, sa association. We will try to, to help strengthen the practice of profession by, by uh, of course, dealing appropriately uh, sa ating mga kapwa professionals who might uh, naligaw ng landas. Okay? Then, counselors acknowledge the limitations of maintaining confidentiality. Uh, again, uh, because right now, and confidentiality of electronic records and, trans and transmission again, but the confidentiality per se, we can break it uh, on uh, again that long uh, possible things or possible na, na scenarios. We can break confidentiality as, as counselors if there is um, a threat sa sarili ng client, if there is a threat ng client to the community, and there is a court order by a competent court na we can divulge uh, the, the proceedings or any information about the client. Uh, uh, and of course, if the client uh, uh, nag, siya, uh, the client declared that the in, in writing, for example, that the counselor can divulge uh, or can share the information about him or her, then uh, it, uh, the, the, the right to privilege communication uh, uh, can be uh, waived. Uh, now, when it comes to confidentiality of electronic records and trans uh, transmission, very important, again, as counselors, do not get what you can protect. Uh, so please inform. Uh, so they should inform service user that individuals might might have authorized or unauthorized access to such records or transmissions. Okay, please take note of that, no? especially in the informed consent. Okay, a question here: What if po yung client na nang haras sa counselor po? <laughs> well, it's it's another uh, it's another thing. Uh, it's another case. Uh, well, uh, well, it's when uh, again because uh, guidance and counseling is a regulated profession. Uh, the practice protects uh, the ano uh, the, the the clients. Pero pag yung client nagahara sa sa ayan sa counselor, then the, the usual na na uh, statutory laws natin will apply. Okay. Now. Counselors clearly explain to their service users or clients as part of their informed consent procedure the benefits, limitations, and boundaries of the use of social media and other online platforms. Dear counselors, please take note that you should provide informed consent. Okay? So, again, the informed consent, hindi lang po sa, sa start, but even in the middle of uh, the giving of our uh, services. You should r remind, uh, you should uh, inform, uh, you should provide this informed consent to your clients. And of course, when providing technology assisted services, counselors make reasonable efforts to determine that service users are intellectually, emotionally, physically, linguistically, and functionally capable of using application and that application is appropriate for the needs of service users. Please take note, counselors, dito po papasok yung ating knowledge on the ICT equipment, on the connectivity, on the application. So very important, we need to upskill ourselves. Okay? So uh, we, we need to educate them also because we need to consider their intellectual, emotional, physical, linguistical, and yeah, the functional capability. And of course, counselors verify that service users understand the purpose and the operation of technology applications and follow up with service users to the correct possible misconceptions, discover appropriate use, and assess subsequent steps. Again, very important counselors, we guide our service users. So we verify uh, ano po yung uh, talagang naiintindihan po nila. Uh, 
Uh, because they could not give the consent uh, if uh, hindi po nila naintindihan. Counselors maintain awareness and sensitivity regarding cultural meanings of confidentiality and privacy. Okay? Dito po papasok yung ating uh, uh, awareness and sensitivity. No? Counselors respect different uh, views towards uh, toward disclosure information and counselors hold ongoing discussions with service users are as to how, when, and with whom information is to be shared. Again, with our uh, uh, informed consent. And of course, uh, very important, we have to be sensitive with the different groups. Uh, for example, uh, counseling or when we deliver services to our elderly, to the young children, uh, to the uh, yan, uh, to the children, yung mga bata talaga, to adolescents, uh, for males, for females, for our uh, uh, L LGBT uh, QA plus na uh, uh, and group uh, to our frontliners, uh, uh, yeah, to do, to our vulnerable sectors. Uh, very important. We need to have awareness and sensitivity. Okay, uh, informed consent should be in writing, yes. And uh, you need to remind also uh, while the session is ongoing uh, uh, na you have to remind uh, again and again of that informed consent, okay? So counselors who are members of multidisciplinary teams delivering multifaceted services to clients or service users remain focused on how to best serve them. Again, counselors, we do not do on our own. We are not Superman. We need to connect with uh, other professionals. So uh, uh, we need they participate in and contribute to decisions that affect the well-being of the client or service user by drawing on the perspectives, values, and experiences of the counseling profession and those of colleagues from other disciplines. So dito po mapasok yung ating uh, interdisciplinary teams. So if you have their uh, psychologists, psychiatrists, uh, social workers, uh, para professionals, very important uh, to consider that also. Then, should the presenting problems by the service user or users are beyond the bounds of the counseling practice, again, the counselor should do the appropriate referral to the concerned professional. Again, refer, pag hindi na, or if it's beyond your bounds. Okay? Counselors respect the dignity and promote the welfare and safety of the service user. Again, we respect kahit uh, sino man yan. Uh, if it is a, a, a minor, if it is a male or a female, a member of a LGBT, uh, an elderly, again, counselors respect the dignity and promote the welfare and safety of the service users. And of course, uh, then if there's a need for counseling follow-up, the counselor and service user should both agree on the terms, the date and the time without prejudice to the code of ethics for counselors, okay? So this is a mutual agreement between the counselor and the counselor or the service user. So ito po yung references ng ating guide, interim guidelines. Again, the interim guidelines po ay makikita po sa ating FB page, okay? Now, the last part of uh, of uh, this discussion is to become a, be an advocate. No? Kasi mahirap po na ila lang po yung uh, uh, nagsasalita po sa atin. We need to really advocate. If we want to really let the public know uh, ano po yung ating services, ano po yung ating profession, we need to advocate. Hindi lang po tayo hang, hanggang diyan na uh, magre-reklamo ng nawala tayong budget or ganito lang tayo. We really need to be proactive. And we need to be proactive or we become proactive by being an advocate. Because there, these are the things to consider, especially during this pandemic. To have enough funding and political support to exist and to be able to deliver services. How can we deliver services if hindi man tayo supportado? For example, how can we deliver guidance and counseling services in, in, in depth? And if, for example, if uh, some in the higher ups doesn't uh, even recognize counselors or 
they would uh, uh, look for other professionals na hindi man nag-exist in, in the organization. No? So we need a, a political support on that. Uh, for example, we need to have a, a funding to deliver uh, services. No? So uh, yun nga, sinasabi natin, uh, we need to have a budget. No? For example, in, in, in the case of DepEd, uh, how can you deliver guidance and counseling services or career guidance services or mental health services if Indian in schools, if it is not included in the uh, uh, SIP or AIP? Uh, so uh, in, in the higher education or in, in other organization or in TESDA, for example, again, we need to have that support politically and even institutionally in order to exist and be able to deliver services. So very important again to be an advocate. Hindi lang po tayo na magreklamo, but we have to to let our voices be heard by being an advocate. We have to to we have to let them know the real score. Another consideration is it is going to very to be very difficult providing career guidance in a world of scarcity of jobs. This is very challenging to provide career guidance right now if marami po yung nalilay off. If marami pong uh, establishment yung nagsisira, uh, nag, nagka-close po because uh, of this pandemic. So again, we need to, to look on this one. And of course, it's, very, it's, it's going to be very difficult uh, in providing guide, guidance and counseling and mental health services in a financially challenged individuals or communities. Right now, uh, even in the MHPSS intervention pyramid, yung tinitingnan, or even in Maslow's hierarchy of needs, yung basic, yung tinitingnan nila. Uh, so how can we provide this one if gutom? Oh, go, oh, oh, walang makain. So this is very... It's going to be very difficult. And of course, another thing is uh, yung, we need to be careful not to fall back on old assumptions. No? Again, we are shifting into new normal. We are in, in transition. No? Uh, again, with this unprecedented na, na, na time, no? after this, there's a very big shift no? with the things we're doing right now. So we need to be careful not to fall back uh, on old assumptions. Uh, so we need to uh, unlearn uh, and relearn. Uh, so very important uh, with what we are doing right now. Okay. So uh, these are the references of my uh, discussion. For those who are asking po ng PowerPoint uh, for, yes, uh, I will send this, uh, these slides to our secretariats, uh, to our secretariat so that they can send it uh, with, um, with your e-certificate. Again, for those na may problema po sa ating certificate, number one, please take note, tama po ba yung email address mo? Number two, Naka, uh, naka-submit ka ba on time ng, ng inyo pong post-evaluation? Okay? If nagawa nyo yun yung dalawa, so again, please email again yung ating PGSA Secretariat. Again, please bear with them because we are dealing with thousands of uh, certificates and clients uh, uh, at this time. Okay? So again, if you have questions, Please, uh, uh, I would like to answer few, siguro, one, two, or three uh, before we end this morning. Or this afternoon na pala, sorry, it's 12. Okay, so thank you very much. Please don't forget to like and follow yung ating mga uh, social media accounts, ating Facebook. Please like the PGSA official. Please follow yung ating Twitter account at official PGSA and don't forget to subscribe. Philip, PGCA, ang ating channel, PGCA Philippine Counselor, nandun po yung lahat na mga uh, webinars. You can watch it again. 
Okay, sige. Uh, question here, when do we do online counseling? It is necessary that there is someone who supervises or watch the counseling session aside from the counselor, especially when the client is minor for security purposes. Wow, a very good question. Again, but let's go back to consideration. Again, uh, if the minor, uh, my idea, uh, again, in, in counseling, please take note uh, the consideration on the ICT, on the connectivity, and the application. Number two, minor. Uh, we need a consent from the uh, parent. Number three, uh, in, when it comes to supervision, yung supervision na ito, it's more of, in a sense, it's, it's more of a, a professional service. It's checking you. It's not supervi administratively supervising you po. Uh, so it's supervising you on checking you on your practice, on how you do as a professional, how you cope. It's more of a sort of, of mentor. Uh, again, uh, siguro yung counselor supervision, we can have a separate, again, so tatlo na yung, <laughs> yung challenge natin dito. Actually, I have raised three. <clears throat> Sorry. I have already three uh, raised three uh, topics. <laughs> Psychological testing, career guidance, and, gui and uh, counselor supervision. <laughs> Thank you for, for this uh, uh, question, <clears throat> Ma'am Lala. Okay. So I hope I, I, I answered uh, your question. Po. Uh, what platforms are recommended in online or routine interviews or counseling? Uh, Ma'am Ruena, uh, si, uh, uh, you can watch uh, the uh, the webinar, the tele web counseling of Doc Julian. Uh, he recommended their uh, applications, mga safe applications. Uh, so please take note uh, in using online applica uh, yeah, applications in in online counseling. Please make sure that it is encrypted. Yung security talaga. Okay. Uh, then. Okay, question. Uh -oh. uh, wow, well, very good question. Is it fair to assume that the age of a young counselor, given he or she is licensed, should immediately be associated with incompetence? Okay, a uh, very good question, Sir Edward. That is why. Uh, uh, the PGCA is uh, is unwavering. Is, oh yeah, we are we, uh, unwavering po kami in our stand to lower down the qualifications. Because just imagine, um, physi physiologically, the the brain of a person, oh, ang brain ng part ng isang tao po is fully developed only at the age of twenty five. Okay, now. So just imagine, the counselor, nag-graduate po siya ng bachelor's degree, then nag-take siya ng uh, three, four years na master's degree, and uh, one year to one year to, to review, then take ng board, then nakapasa, for example. Again, that's 25, okay? From the physiological point of view, at least the, the brain of a, a counselor at the age of 25, uh, generally, fully developed now but we have to consider also some things that is why very uh the the, the pgca again is still uh, is again uh, reminding talaga na when it comes to compet competence dapat there should be a continuing professional education because again the competence uh, hindi lang po yan makukuha sa grad school. Rather, it should be a continuing professional education just like our doctors, huh? our medical professionals. So thank you for that, uh, Sir Edward. Very, very good question. I like it. But again, incompetence, dito po papasok yung, uh, yung parang policing ba? We, we need to police also our ranks. Uh, we, we recognize that one, that uh, as counselors, we need also to police our ranks when it comes to ethics. Uh, uh, 
Thank you for that, sir. Siguro, uh, last question na lang po. Ay, uh, uh, gaya na sing counseling services, uh, hindi po pa saling follow-up. Uh, follow-up is, is still a function. Uh, uh, I, I, I think I, I, ano lang, uh, I discussed lang po the, the, uh, with all the, the, the services and the functions, uh, my apologies po. Uh, siguro na, na kalimutan ko yung follow-up. But again, even in the counseling uh, service, and kanina in our discussion, I I keep on repeating the, the follow-up. My apologies for that. Thank you. Uh, follow-up is, again, a function din po. Uh, a service, I mean, of our of guidance and counseling. Okay. Uh, I cannot uh, answer all your questions because of the time. Okay. Ito na. Uh, very good question, actually. Saan, na, saan, po, saan po ang evaluation link po? Very good. <laughs> Thank you for that because you 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 are giving me the the, the jumping board to end this one. Okay, ang eval again the evaluation link mag open po by 1 p.m. So at least you have uh, 40 minutes to take your lunch or even right now you are taking your lunch. 1 p.m. po mag open ang link. Uh, I think yung link natin naka post na po. Uh, let me see. Uh, our link is either posted or uh, will be posted soon sa ating pong FB page. Okay? Please take note of that. It will open from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Okay? I hope uh, we, are, we are clear on that. And tomorrow, uh, para po sa ating mga uh, kasamahan po sa DepEd, yung homeroom guidance, uh, there will be an orientation on homeroom guidance modules. Ito po yung sa ating mga magagaling na mga kasamahan po sa Bureau of Curriculum Development under sa leadership ni Director Joyce Andaya and of course the leadership of USEC uh, Dads San Antonio. Uh, kinakalinga po nila yung homeroom guidance. Uh, so there will be an orientation tomorrow uh, sa hapon. Uh, you can follow po the the Homeroom Guidance Philippines na Facebook page, okay? Uh, for that, uh, uh, please hold on sa ating po sa basic ed na private. Uh, so, I think there will be a separate one for you also. Then, on Friday, okay, on Friday, so we have Dr. Jess uh, Datu. Uh, uh, He's an assistant professor po sa Department of Special Education and Counseling, Education University of Hong Kong. Uh, well, uh, uh, highly, uh, well, uh, uh, highly intelligent and exceptional uh, uh, speaker then on positive psychology as a tool for addressing COVID-19 related mental health hazards. So on Friday, please take note, 10 to 12 noon. Okay. And another one, uh, uh, napagaling din na speaker, uh, Dr. Josie uh, Banagloriso, uh, RGC Arsai, a consultant po, kasama po siya ni uh, uh, Doc Julian Montano ng InTouch Community Services, Counseling Intervention in the Management of Mental Health Issues. So if you have concerns or if you have questions on counseling, on online counseling, doon po tayo. Uh, let, let's wait on the on August 18 with Doc Josie, uh, and again before that you can watch the the webinar. You can watch the replay of the webinar of Doc uh, Julian Montana. So, uh, ito po yung ating uh, webinar series for uh, August. Okay. So reminder. So uh, one hour po, hindi po 45 minutes. Uh, we will we were given time. So please, again, uh, please give us time to send it. Then if you have concerns with your certificates, please email PGCA certificate at gmail.com. Okay, so maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for this one. I hope uh, my, at least uh, you have gained knowledge uh, in this one. And please don't forget, be an advocate for 
guidance counselors for guidance and counseling, for career guidance, and for mental health services. With that, thank you and good afternoon.